Hey guys welcome to another video, today we are going to have a look at the probably the slowest GP you ever made. GeForce 256 was released on October the 19th 99. I've got the slowest version of this card Asus V6600MX, I've benchmarked it against its predecessor Riva TNT2 Pro and Riva TNT2 M64. All three cards were overclocked to maximum stable clock speed. For the first benchmark we used 3D Mark 2000, as we can see GeForce 256 scores only about 20% better than cheap M64, even after overclocked GeForce can't beat stock TND2 Pro. In 3D Mark 2001 we can see similar results across all graphics cards. G4 scored 1226 points. I've also done research on HWBOT.com. My G4 scored way below everybody even when I used Quad Core for benchmark and tried different drivers. First game we tested is GD of Ice City, GeForce got pretty good results after overclock it beat stock TND2 Pro. Both cards managed playable frame rates. M64 could not handle this game very well. Morrowind released in 2002 was a bit too much for GeForce and M64. They scored almost the same. Only Pro got playable frame rates, it doubles the performance of GeForce. In Mafia we used HD resolution and this is how they handle it. TND2 Pro got playable frame rates. GeForce and M64 needs to lower resolution to 800 by 600 to get playable frame rates. In Need for Speed we can see similar results as in previous benchmarks. Overclocking the GeForce really helped with performance. Last game we used this serious Sam second encounter. Performance across both M64 and G Force are pretty poor for first person shooters. So, why is this card so bad? Is it because of only 64-bit bus width? Or is it because of MX in name that was forming? Thank you.